So, do wolf dogs make good pets? Say hi, Luna. The short answer to that would be no. They are not good pets for most people. They require lots of time, lots of patience, lots of training, lots of money. And their containment it also has to take a lot of time and a lot of effort too. This is an eight foot fence with dig guards. Uh, it's also heavy gauge chain link, which is really strong. If um, you know they decide to pull on it, they're not gonna break through. It's raining out here today, so that's the noise you hear. Um, this is a separate containment area too, in case two of them get in a fight or a couple of them decide they don't like each other. I can easily separate them right away. And they're all kind of chilling right now. They've usually got lots more energy than this. Wolf dogs have to be heavily socialized as well with people. So they're not af afraid of them. Usually they, wolf dog puppies also need to be bottle fed so they can bond with humans and imprint on humans. So they don't, aren't living their whole lives in fear of people. They can also be very destructive, even more so than the most destructive dogs. As you can see by the interior of this SUV that I take them riding in. They're also very mouthy and they growl a lot at each other, but you need to learn canine language. You know when it's just play or when it's actually serious and they need to be separated. In this case, <coughs> Luna the female is Employing a little discipline on the puppies here. Another thing that's usually the case with wolf dogs, they're very neophobic. That is, they're afraid of new things. So they have to constantly be exposed to different stuff, different situations all the time, so they're not fearful of new things. One thing I hear a lot is wolf dogs are unpredictable and they can't be trained. That's just simply not true. They're harder to train than a regular dog, but they're also a lot smarter than a regular dog. They can be trained, you just gotta know how to do it. Unlike a regular dog, they don't do much to please you. But with treats and positive rewarding, there's a lot you can do with them. They're also not dangerous to people. If they do escape, they're usually gonna avoid people altogether. So this idea that they're gonna go out and chase your children if they get out is just not the truth. Now, if you do go up and you abuse them, or you go up and try to take their food away from them and they think you're going to take your food away from them or kick stuff at them like the girl did on YouTube that got her wolf dog to attack her, um, you could get bit. Here Luna's guarding a piece of deer meat she has. If she was guarding it from the other dog. She knows I'm not going to take it and she has no problem in coming up and petting her on the head. She knows. She, uh, we have a trust bond. There, here comes the trust. She's gonna growl. She's not gonna try because he tried earlier and didn't do it. These are two pups just playing with each other. As you see, they are they do better when there's actually a pack of them. Um, I don't think they do real well if you just had one wolf dog and no other wolf dogs or not even a dog. And when we first got Waylon here, we had um we had our husky Dobro and we raised them together and he was a lot more comfortable than we just first brought him home. But you can see this is a show of um, his neophobia. He's, he's still not comfortable with the camera and the gimbal I've got here. He doesn't really know what they are. So he's kind of looking, looking at me like wondering, a little sheepish, wondering what is going on. So we'll just back away a little bit. It's okay, Waylon. And 
as I do, he gets a little bit more comfortable, but he's still not sure. That's just a, another difference between a wolf dog and a dog. You wanna go in the backyard? Who wants to go in the backyard and play, huh? Come on, let's go. Let's go, guys. Come on, let's go in the backyard. Come on, we'll go play. Waylon, you wanna go? All right, come on. This, as you've seen before, is our exercise and play area. We've got this electric net fence, which is also a predator fence. It has electric current running through it. And runs up into the woods, gives them about two acres of woods and backyard, which they can run and play in. Exercise and mental stimulation keeps them happy. And a happy, well-exercised wolf dog is usually a much better behaved wolf dog. Here they are, they're just playing and jumping around. Wayland's over there digging at something. Uh, one thing we had to give up when we got wolf dogs is long extended vacations because we just don't have anybody that can really stay with them, spend much time with them, take them out, go in their pens. So we're pretty limited as to what you can, what we can do. And you will also be limited as to what you can do if you get wolf dogs. Unless you find a really good pet sitter that can not afraid of them, knows what to do, and can come in your pen and take, you know, help them out. Here they smell something. It's got them excited, not sure what it is. If you've seen some of my other videos, I talk about training and proper care, as well as finding a good pup if you want a pup where to find good breeders and stuff. But you really need to get the experience and you really get to, need to get a lot of knowledge beforehand. There are a lot of breeders that will sell to anybody out there that's got a check or the money for one. And a lot of these breeders will tell you they're just like any other dog. <laughs> that's just simply not true. But they're also not dangerous monsters that are gonna eat your children either. As you will sometimes read or hear about so why have wolf dogs in the first place? Well, for one, they're very intelligent and they're fun to work with. They're really, a, they're a challenge, but it's a real pleasure. Um, it's also good to get out and bring these guys out. I can talk to people about the plight of wild wolves in America right now. They're being hunted to near extinction as I'm speaking to some of these states in the Northwest. It's also good to tell other people about wolf dogs who may have it in the back of their head about getting one and I can quickly explain to you why you may not want to do it or why you may want to do it. I've also met a lot of people that had horror stories with wolf dogs that got, got them from bad breeders or got them in, in an area where they're illegal in a county or state where they're illegal and of course they get found out and the state or the county comes, picks them up and kills the dogs, kills the wolf dogs. Another myth I hear is these are not um, domesticated animals or wild animals. And this is just not true. I take Luna here out all the time to meet people and she'll come when I call her, as you can see from my other videos. I mean, she's just about as good as any domestic dog I've had, but she is more destructive. We're now in the woodsy part of my backyard on the trail Again, it's enclosed in electric net fence, which is also known as predator fence. It keeps predators out, or in this case, my wolf dog's in. Stubro's my husky, he's part of their pack. He has no wolf in him whatsoever, but he likes to play with them. My pit bull, Sadie, she's in the house, and she can't come out here because Luna does not like Sadie at all, and Luna will kill. Sadie if she gets a chance, so they have to be separated at all times. Female wolf dogs, same case. They rarely, if ever, get along. Two females. And we go further up the trail, they're sniffing and getting into stuff, exploring. We've got a lot of greenery here in Tennessee right now, but shortly we'll be moving to Colorado and we'll have a lot of brown but the temperatures will be much cooler and less humid. You can see I'm going up into the woods here some more. 
See, there's the net fence, which is put out by Premier One. They're on back order now because they're very popular. And it's a little hot, so they don't have near the energy they normally have. But they're still back here playing, sniffing through stuff. We had a little rain a little while ago, so there's some new smells to check out. There's Luna and Waylon at the back, just kind of looking down and everything. And they're just chilling out. They know the fence. They know not to touch the fence and they, they haven't done it in a long time. But the fence has to be regularly clipped and weeds and leaves have to be pulled away from it because it does drain the electricity out of it. Hey, Silas. Silas, smile, buddy. But yes, you can own a wolf dog and they do make good pets for the right people. But a lot of them also end up in sanctuaries or euthanized because they got to the wrong people. So um, if you're planning on getting one, if you're thinking about getting one, please, please do your research and learn and be ready. Um, Cause there's a lot to know and there's a lot you gotta be prepared for. In addition to the videos I make, there are also lots of good um, groups on Facebook like Tony and Isla and several others that, in these wolf dog groups that are happy to help you out that you know have experience some of them have had decades experience of owning wolf dogs so you need to get in touch with some of these people and you know compare get their experience out of it so you learn how to do it also learn canine body language that's real important several books on that where you can learn it um Get them on Amazon. Nicole Wild has some great books on wolf dogs as well as canine language that you, I definitely say were must reads for anybody wanting a wolf dog. And whatever you do, if you live in an illegal state or county where wolf dogs are banned, please do not get a wolf dog because you eventually will most likely and definitely get caught because somebody will see something and they will say something and they will, will report you and lo and behold, somebody is gonna come out and get that wolf dog. And it's either gonna, if it's lucky, it'll go to a sanctuary, but most likely it'll be killed. I see stories of this happening every single day and I hear it also as well when I'm out with my wolf dogs in public talking to people. And I also have a good veterinarian. Um, they will get sick, they will need shots. A lot of vets won't take wolf dogs. Another thing you can do is uh, do some volunteer work at a sanctuary and you can see what happens when they wind up in a sanctuary. A lot of these wolf dogs that end up there were abused and they can be the most difficult, but you know what to expect. Even though one properly raised as a puppy, it's gonna be totally different from one that was not raised properly and ended up in a sanctuary for whatever reason. So hopefully you've learned a little bit about wolf dogs from this video. And if you'd like to learn a little more, watch the rest of my videos. Hit that like button and subscribe. If you like this video and want to learn more about wolves, wolf dogs, and dogs, please hit the like button and subscribe.